want people to be aware of your existence, you need to have submission software. Okay? You also need to have mailing software. You got to mail to hundreds of people, not hundreds, you know, I mail to 30,000, 40,000 people. All right? So I need to have a software that can do this for me. All right? So these are called mailing software. Okay, sorry. Okay? These are called mailing software. Tonight, I'll give you a copy for free. You want it? Yes. Then you come for tonight. <laughs> we have got one more session tonight. I think uh, in the evening, I'm, no, I'm not sure what time, but we have another session tonight, all right? Because of the time constraint, we can't cover every single thing here. All right. Now, list building, number five. List building is very important. The money is in the list. I tell people the money is in the list. When people tell you, all right, that I can earn 10,000 US dollar a day, 20,000 US dollar a day, Please don't believe them. It's never true. You know why? There's no way for you, you to earn ten thousand or twenty thousand dollars a day just by spamming people. You know, you buy a CD containing ten million names and spam, right? You can't get rich by that. You know, because people don't buy if they don't trust you. Is that clear? Do you buy from something you don't trust? Or I ask you another question: Do you give your credit card number to something you don't trust? You don't. So basically, spamming people will not make any sale. You might make one or two sales from some crazy people, that's about it. But uh, all you get is spam complaint and will get you into trouble. So what you need to do is build a list. This is what we call permission marketing. List of people who give you permission to email them, whereby you create rapport with them, and these are the people that trust you. So when you recommend something to them, the conversion rate is higher. Is that clear? So you've got to build a list. I'll talk about that later on as well. All right, traffic generating. Let's talk about traffic here. Now. Six years ago, when I started internet marketing, I created my first website. I was so happy, you know. I know nothing about sending an email. After that, I learned how to create my own website. And I was uh, thinking, like most people who are new here, wow, after having a website, I'm going to be rich and famous. How wrong was I? You think that's right? Having a website will make you rich and famous? It's wrong. Until my friend suddenly wake me up from my sleep. He said, Richard, you got a website. Who's going to visit your website? I start scratching my head, it's true, you know, who's visiting my website? Then I start giving excuses, I give my website address on a piece of paper and pass it to my friend. Put it on my name card and pass it around. Do you think I can get a lot of traffic that way? No way, my friend. But let me tell you, over the years, I learned everything on my own. That's why I came up with this book, Exposed, 101 Ways to Drive Traffic to Your Website. Okay? The, the, the book here contains 101 ways, but the top 12 ways are the most efficient ways. Alright? From my own experience. Okay, so there are many ways, but let me share with you one or two ways here. Okay, search engine is the most important one. All right, now when you hear about search engine, I'm sure you know of Google, Yahoo, all right, uh, Alta Vista, and so on. These are called search engines. All right, now playing the search engine game is not easy because you know uh, you got to optimize your keywords, and there are millions and millions of people who are competing with you, right, to have good ranking as well. But you must know your game if you want to be able to get traffic. Now, you must be ranked at least the top three pages, right? If you are ranked the 100 pages or 20 pages, nobody is going to scroll down so many pages, you know? So to get some reasonable amount of traffic, you must rank the top three pages, all right? So these are some of my ranking I want to show you, all right? I won't go into detail, but these are some of the ranking that I have managed to, 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 to obtain from the uh, uh, search engine. If you go to Google, you key in online marketing success. Out of about 5 million websites, I'm ranked number one. All right, online marketing success, I'm ranked number one there. Okay. If you put in internet money out of 5 million websites, I'm ranked number one as well. Okay. If you put short motivational story, this is my Capuchino and Success book, all right. If you put short motivational story or motivational story for, for, for children, or you know, short motivational story, inspirational story. You can see my listing here is not number one alone out of 500,000, number one and number two. Capuchin is success. And that's another one in the first page, I think number five, three in one page. Is that clear? So, this is how I get traffic as well. Now, this book was my first book that I launched. So, today I don't market this book anymore, I promote the new book. But do you like every single day because it is listed there, people looking for short motivational story. They come to my website at one and number two. And they buy my book for 1995 US dollar. This paperback I'm selling for 2990, but the ebook version I just put one time, they can take down, download as many times as they like. 
Kling 1995, Kling 1995. Can you see that or not? All right, all right. Okay, that's Capuchin and Sartre. In Yahoo as well, I'm showing you Yahoo and Google. That's all. These are the two biggest ones. All right. And number one and number two as well. Let me tell you, it can be done. And I can assure you, this evening I prove to you, you can design your own website as well. Seriously, everyone sitting in this room can design your own website. I'll prove to you this evening. Yeah. Keywords. You got to optimize on your keywords. All right. No, these are all free. I never pay a single cent. So you got to learn how to strategize and do it. Okay. Let's move on then. This is the fastest trend, right? Catch the wave. Quote by Bill Gates. In the next few years, there will only be two types of businesses. In the next few years, there will only be two types of businesses. Bill Gates said. There will only be two types of businesses, those on the net and those no longer in business. <laughs> so don't quote me, all right? If Bill Gates will say this, all right? Don't come after me. Is that clear? Right? All right? Now, in this short period of time, I can't cover everything. So let me tell you, this evening we're going to cover extra on this, all right? I don't know what's the time. You can check with the uh, management and so on. How to create an effective website. I tell you this evening, how to make a website sell, all right? Number two, how to accept payment on your website. What are the various uh, uh, company you can join? Some of them are free. I'll give you the link this evening, all right? Number three, traffic generating strategies. I'll go into uh, add a few other strategies besides search engine. Maybe I'll go in more detail with search engine as well this evening, all right? A strategic alliance, how we use strategic alliance uh, to make money. <coughs> Let me tell you, this evening I'll show you one of my statements, all right? Where I sold this book exposed. All right, I sold this book for 47 US dollar. But you'll be surprised when you see that I only collect $14 something. You know why? Because I pay 65%, right? 65%. But this evening you see that, you know, all, although I sell 14, I only receive 14 something, but my book sold in seconds. One second, two seconds, three seconds, one book, you know. And in two hours, I sell 800 over US dollar worth of books. Two hours. How do you like that? Can you make money on the net? You can, but you must know what to do, right? Creating rapport. I'll show you how we create rapport. This is one of the most important things. Uh, how to be successful on the net. Okay? And I'll talk to you about some success story. Okay. So basically that is uh, the end of this session. But I think we have some time here, right? Alright, some time here. Uh, what I want to do here in this short little time. Uh, since I'm a graduate of this class, I want to inspire you. You want to be inspired or not? Yeah. Or I want to inspire you and tell you a little bit about my background. Is that okay or not? Do you have time for that? All right. Now, actually, I come from the state of Kelantan. You know where is Kelantan? Or yes. Klate, oh, yeah? All right. I come from Kelantan, all right? And I basically studied in UK for eight years. I'm a chartered accountant by profession. All right. When I came back from UK, my concept is this. I would like to be a big fish in a small bowl rather than a small fish in a big bowl, if you know what I mean. So I always want to be my own boss. So when I came back from UK as an accountant, basically, what I did was I never started my accounting practice in, in Trengganu, uh, in Kelantan, but I moved to Trengganu. Because at that time in 1980s, right, early 80s, Trengganu was for what? Was famous for petroleum, right? Petroleum. So I moved there. I had the herd mentality as well. I moved to Trengganu. So I was in Trengganu for 20 years of my life. I started my own accounting practice there. Was I successful? Yes, yeah, I was successful. But mind you, I started from zero. I remember the early days when I slept in the back of the office, you know. I'm not born with a golden spoon in my mouth, my friend. All right, so I slept in the uh, uh, back of the office until 20 years I built from zero base to be one of the big firms in Trignano, all right? And I achieved a lot of things in Trignano. I became the president of the Lions Club. Uh, I was the treasurer of the Royal Golf Club. I paid golf, golf with the existing Sultan of Trignano as well. And I also got a, a medal from the, uh, the previous Sultan of Trignano. I played squash for the state of Trignano. My son today plays squash for Selangor State. All right, so many things, you know. I was the treasurer of the, also the, the, the what do you call, the squad association, the accounting association. I started the East Coast branch and so on. So I achieved a lot of things, don't you think so? In that short period of time, of time 20 years, and I was uh, very comfortable. But like most of you all, when you are comfortable, you don't realize that you are in a rut, right? Not? So what happened is this, you know. About three and a half years ago, I decided to say, and, and before